I'm on my phone here, but I'm also bringing it up on my computer because it's hard to read any comments on the little teeny tiny phone. Honey, are you up yet? Yeah, I'm just getting there now. I'm not seeing that I'm live. <laughs> Is anybody there? Hi! Yeah. Hi, Chris. How are you? <laughs> hey! Hello, everybody. Hi. So glad everybody made it. Let's see. Um, let me just type something real quick. See if I can get the live feed up on my computer. I went straight to my phone this time because if you guys watched last time, you guys know that we had so much trouble out of the computer that we ended up like doing how many takes of that, honey? Like three. Three. Three, three, or three or four takes just to do this with you guys. So. Someone says they can't stay long. Oh, but they wanted to say hi. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. Is Al here? Al's here. Hi, Al. Mm. Al, do you like my cat ears? Can you tell they're sparkly? They got like little rhinestones in them. And I had to wear it with my leopard. This is like a silky leopard top. I was like, yeah, that's an outfit. <laughs> Anyways. Say hi to Star Spirit. Hi, Star Spirit. How is everybody doing? I am doing fabulous. Thank you, Al. You're so sweet. I probably look like a hot mess, but you tell me I look nice anyways. No, wait, you tell me I look like a hot mess. <laughs> Never mind. And I will apologize in advance. If you hear loud thumping, the only way to keep our three year or sorry, four year old occupied was to give him a hammer and some nails and send him outside to hammer on the front porch with his brother. <laughs> the, he's 12 the older one's 12 so we have supervision it's fine and then my dog is very pregnant and very disgruntly sitting in the window barking at anything that comes along and she's Bella are you gonna be good Bell Bell no kids what are you gonna do but so any noise you hear it's probably from the home construction going on on my porch right now or my dog so <laughs> i am still i've got yarn ends everywhere guys still just working on my son's sweater i have done nothing since the last podcast when i was working on it too because i've been working on other things i am so excited you guys i am um going to the michigan fiber fest august 18th saturday august 18th i believe i don't let me get my calendar eh. Sorry, that was so, 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 so unprofessional there. Let me get my little do 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 do. Yes, Saturday, August 18th, I will be at the Michigan Fiber Festival in Allegan County, Michigan. And I'm so excited because there's going to be a bunch of other podcasters there with me. And from 3 to 5, we're going to have a podcasters meetup. And I'm so excited about that because you guys get to meet me and I get to meet you guys. So I'm so happy. I am so... Cindy, you're going to be there? Oh, please come and say hi to me. And I might... Fingers crossed, have some buttons made with the proper pineapple on them. Not sure yet, hoping. Al is coming too, I'm so excited. So everybody gets to meet my friend Al, anybody who comes. We'll take pictures, it'll be fun. And of course I'm going to videotape it all for the channel. So if you guys can't come, you will get pictures, don't worry. And I, I'm wearing my um, pineapple Alex and Ani bracelet and it, it, along with my wrist ruler and my Alex and Ani bracelet keeps hitting the desk making all kinds of clinkety clinks. So, just take that off. When will I pick the winner for what, dear? Good giveaway. Yeah. Which yeah. giveaway? I'm currently running three. <laughs> <laughs> are we running three? We are. We are running because there's two. July's giveaway. The Christmas in July giveaway running on Instagram and um, mm -hmm. Ravelry and the Instagram giveaway. So, which one were you talking about, darling? Well, I'll just tell you for all of them. The end of the month will be July's giveaway here on YouTube. The end of the month will also be the Christmas in July giveaway running on Instagram and Ravelry. And tomorrow I pick the winner for the 1,000 subscriber <clears throat> Instagram giveaway that's happening on Instagram. So that is what is going on. So, and I'm super excited, you guys. By the end, it might be, might be, I told you guys... I would have the doll pattern written up by the end of the month and I might be a day late on that but it's in the process and it will be done 
at the latest on the 3rd of August. The pattern for my dolls will be out. And I'm only saying possibly the 3rd of August because I just want to make sure, finish up what I've got to finish up and get the, you know, make sure to proofread it, make sure it's all good. So the pattern will be out. I'm so, so excited. Hi, Donna in Tennessee. <laughs> you know, saying how much will the pattern be? I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking two, three hundred dollars. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. That would be ridiculous. Who would pay that for a pattern? No, I, I haven't decided yet. I'm working on it. And my husband said that again, hopefully by maybe the fourth of August. We should have the spines and the feet up for sale, at least a certain number of them. So the first batch of them should be up for sale. So yay, you should fingers have at crossed. Least 50 sets. I should have 50 sets of spines and feet, because you'll buy it in a package of the spine and the feet, on August 4th, ready to go up into my, I believe, my Etsy shop. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't know if I like Etsy. <laughs> I like Etsy, but they're just sometimes, they're so much harder than Ravelry. Everything's easy on Ravelry, and Etsy seems to be uh, so much trouble for me. I had a crochet hook here. Oh, here it is. Here's my, I'm using my touche, my rainbow touche crochet hook. By the way, do you guys like my nails? I cut them down from those big pointy pink ones to these little stubby blue ones. My youngest son picked the blue, and I'm not, I like the little short stubby ones, but, okay, like, I go to this one place, in Jackson to get my nails done and I love them they're so nice and they do a great job and I wanted to try a different place so I tried this other place in cold water it was horrible it was just horrible guys. <laughs> anybody who gets their nails done a quick tangent and I'll get back to crochet okay you guys know the powder they use for the acrylic so the guy's doing my nails and one he doesn't even talk to me which I find is kind of weird usually they conversate with you a little but you don't want to talk he knocks over the entire container on the floor of the powder right and then he proceeds to pick up that big fluffy brush they dust your fingernails with and sweep the floor to dust it except for he's sweeping all that powder at my feet and I had on flip-flops and I'm just sitting there getting covered in acrylic powder <laughs> and then he picks up the brush like hits it on the table to dust it off and then starts dusting my nails with it. And I'm just sitting there like, what? <laughs> like, I left and immediately went and washed everything because I was like, ew. And I'm like, we'll never go back there, ever. I, I went on Google, just left a little bad review because I don't like to do that, but people need to know. It was super gross and I was like, Plus the lady was extremely rude to everybody. And the lady that came in, the lady that greeted you at the front door. Bella. Bella. The lady that greeted you was super mean. She just like yelled at you. And I was like, Ugh. So I, that teaches me for trying somewhere new. So I'm going back to my new people um, probably next week when I need them filled. They don't need to be filled yet. So it's okay. But I'm sure everybody has, if you guys get your nails done bad experiences with nail places. There's the good places that you love and then there's those creepy ones that dust the floors with the things they touch you with. <laughs> but it's okay. Anyways, so someone said, yes, I did. Bella's over here. She's mad and she's so super pregnant, you guys. Like I'm gonna have puppies any day now. Ooh, I'm so excited, little Shih Tzu puppies. They're so adorable. Um, somebody asked, when will the rainbow rose pattern be out? That big rose pattern. You know what? I am so sorry. I said I was going to get that written up and put out. I will have that out. Um, let me finish the doll pattern, which should be out by the end by the end of the month, or like I said, by the third. And then as soon as that is done, I will write up that rainbow rose and get it posted up on my Ravelry. Okay, guys? I'm sorry. I t that one totally. Let me write myself a note right now because that slipped my mind and luckily from all my wonderful youtubers i've got lots of little sticky notes look at this little pine or this cactus one <laughs> so i'll just write let's see cactus no not cactus it's a cactus thing rose pattern <laughs> pattern and i'll stick it to my computer so that when i'm done here i'll do that so what's that comment say mm, 
Oh yeah, I hate when they make them lumpy. Like get, you do your acrylics and they get lumpy. Usually the people that I get in Jackson are so good. They always come out great and I absolutely love them. And the ladies are really friendly. They remember me. This time they didn't come out lumpy, but like with the gel manicure I got, it's kind of all sloppy on the edges. And again, like I said, that's the least of the worries. I had to wash my hands like five times in my feet because I was like, ew, acrylic all over me. <laughs> Is that Jay Harrison? Hi, Jay Harrison. How are you? Yeah. What are you guys working on? Again, I'm just working on my son's sweater. That somebody never asked done. if you and Elise were gonna do another challenge. We are. We had one planned. Okay, guys. Let me tell you about this. So, when I went up north for the girls' weekend, and I went to the tip of the Mitt Fiber Fair, you guys saw Elise was in the. While we were up there, we were up there near Tawas, Michigan, and there is a yarn store in Tawas, and I did an interview. Well, I called and said, can I come and do an interview with you? And the lady said yes, and I came. And she, was, she wasn't she was rude, but she wasn't super friendly. And she wasn't very talkative. It was like she didn't really want us there because, as you guys know, I go everywhere with my children. So I had my daughter, I had Elise, and Elise's little sisters with me. Elise's mom was in the car with the baby. So she didn't really like the kids there, and which I understand, but they're all well-behaved. I don't take bad kids into stores. I don't do that. I don't make sure. And, you know, we don't damage nothing. Anyways. And then we had picked out this skein of yarn that we both liked, got the exact same color, and we were going to do a challenge with that. When we get to the register, the lady overcharged me a ridiculous amount where it actually, like I'm talking way over what I was supposed to, like 10 times what she was supposed to. It actually overdrafted my account, the account I had was paying with, not my like regular account, but the account I had for just this thing and it was this whole hoopla and then like the lady basically she never even apologized or never did anything and I was just I never bought the yarn because I never ended up going back I'm just checking my collar here because it took me days to get it all fixed with my bank it was ridiculous so um long story short we didn't get to do that challenge but we are working on one now I need to get a hold of her her family is so super super busy so I need to get a hold of her and see when she'll be available to do another challenge. Unless maybe I can get Al to do a challenge with me. Al, you want to do a challenge? Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a crochet challenge. It'll be fun. <laughs> I should report to the Better Bureau, Business Bureau. Al said she'd do a challenge with me. Yay! Okay, great. Because me and Al are supposed to get together soon to do some shopping. Maybe we'll turn it into a crochet challenge. Maybe we'll do like ugliest yarn we can find and you have to make something out of it or like you pick out my yarn and I pick out your yarn. I don't know. We'll think of it. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> God bless me. I'm so sorry, guys. See, if this was a regular video, I would edit that out, but it is not. Hi, Alta. How are you? Or I'm sorry, is it, is it Alita. Alita? Why do I call you Alta? I don't know. Alita. Are you doing okay today? I don't know. Mm -hmm. What kind of challenge do you think me and Al should do? Should we do like an ugly yarn challenge or like kind of like I did with Elise where we just buy the same yarn and try to make something or should we do a... Uh, like, I buy her yarn, and she has to work with it, and she buys my yarn, or she picks out my yarn. You or buy the ugliest yarn you can find? Yeah, yeah. I kind of like the idea of buying the ugliest yarn. And now that's with saying that, like, what I think is ugly, you might not think is ugly. It's it's my personal, I think, is the ugliest yeah. yarn, because I am a... <laughs> Somebody said, yes, ugly yarn challenge. Ugly. Okay, Al, are you up for an ugly yarn challenge? That's all I need to know. Is Al in for the ugly yarn challenge? She says, please, not ugly. <laughs> Come on, Al. It'll be fun. I don't know about ugly, but I have some funky yarn. I, I don't know how to turn that off. I'm sorry. <laughs> My husband is phone illiterate. I always go in and fix all of the settings on his phone because he just doesn't know. Yeah. 
How? Oh, somebody asked about the trip to. Um, I have not raised enough money. I am nowhere near close. I am like at about, I think like seven hundred dollars, and I need to get to like the five thousand mark. And if you would like me to break down why five thousand again, I will do that really quickly. The trip is almost three grand. Tickets to Africa from where I live is almost a grand. <laughs> And then, so that puts you at almost four. And then I need, obviously, spending money when I get there because, yeah, because, like, Krista isn't going to take us somewhere to go shopping, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, so I am nowhere near there. But hopefully when I get the doll pattern up and I've got some other patterns coming, guys, all of that money. And I am going to be selling some buttons and pens and uh, possibly T-shirts in my Etsy store. And all of that money will go toward the trip to Africa. I really, really want to go. I think it'd be mm -hmm. fun. I want to see a leopard. I said, my nose all itchy now that I sneezed. <laughs> no, I to see a leopard. <laughs> I want to see a leopard or a lion. It's because you go to Africa, it means see a leopard. Yeah. Shut up, I'm going to see a leopard. <laughs> He's so down. He's a negative Nancy. I'll settle for a zebra. I could see a zebra and be happy. <laughs> Some people are saying that you should have an ugly Christmas sweater challenge. <gasps> Al, do you want to do an ugly Christmas sweater challenge? <laughs> we could do like... We could do like, um, you don't have to make the sweater. You just make like appliques, crocheted appliques and sew them onto the sweater. And we could see who could be more ridiculous. I cannot wait until Christmas. Actually, I can because I enjoy warm weather. But I can wait. At the end of Christmas, my husband went out and bought me a bunch of ridiculously hideous Christmas sweaters. And I can't wait to wear it. Like every day in December, I'm going to have on like a ridiculous Christmas sweater with like all, I can't even tell you. Just crazy. I really want to go to Africa too, Dawn. I really, 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 really want to go. But my husband won't hit the lottery. So I have to wait till I earn the money. <laughs> so, <laughs> we don't even gamble. So I don't even know. Why. What's that say? Yep, we're going to the nature. So I might see any animal I want to see, JR. We're going on a, like a safari. Oh, yeah. Okay. He, see? He don't pay attention to me. I told him. <laughs> Men, they never listen. Anyways. What that say? Okay, yeah. So maybe that's what me and Al do. Me and Al, I, I'll talk about it with her when I see her, because I'm going to see her soon, because she's going to come to the Fiber Festival. We're going to do an ugly Christmas sweater. And what we'll do is we'll, I think, we'll buy just a plain sweater, and then we'll crochet appliques, and you'll, we'll, I'll work out the details, and we'll have like a... Yeah. Because Al's kind of new to crochet. Yeah, because see, Al's new to crochet, guys. She's not been doing it as long as I have. Not saying she's not awesome and couldn't do it, but... Bad dogs. Bad dogs. Come here. <laughs> Bella. Come here. Come here, you want to go say hi to everybody? Do you want to come say hi? I'm going to try not to shake the camera when I pick her up, guys, but she's gigantic. Oh. Say hi, Bella. Say hi to everybody. This is Bella. This is my mommy doggy. She's my little mommy. And she's going to bark at all the squirrels and all the angry people outside. <laughs> is you a good girl or a bad girl, Bella? Is you a good Bella or a bad Bella? This is not about you. This is about me. You're stealing all my thunder. Mwah. All right, get out of here, you. Leave the neighbors alone. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes you have to pet your pregnant dog. <laughs> oh, you have a dog named Bella, too? I love that. My daughter named her. Gosh, we got her. My daughter was only like three. Bella. And she wanted her to be named after Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And it just turned into Bella. And actually, we usually call her Belly Yelly or Belly Yelly Smelly, depending on what day it is. Are you a smelly belly today? Bella, you can't sit on me. I'm do I'm crocheting and doing a video. Fine. For just a moment or two. I got to scoot back a little so I can Sandra see Sandra says that she wants the buttons and pins. And is there a way to buy them straight from you so that you get all the money instead of... Yes, Sandra. When I get the buttons and pins made, I will make a video. And we will... Um, you'll be able, You could just, like, email me. And we can work out purchasing them straight through me. So Because, yes, Etsy... See, that's why I'm thinking I don't want to do Etsy very much. Etsy charges a lot <laughs> for... You got to... You got to... A price just for putting the item up then there's a percentage that you know so it's kind of Etsy's kind of a pain in my butt but until I get my website going which we're gonna work on soon um, that's where stuff will be sold but as soon as my website is going 
my stuff will be over there. So then I will be making all the profit. No, no Etsy profit. <laughs> hey, Bella, I got to get back to my video. I can't sit here and scratch you all day. Oh, gosh. Does anybody else have a dog that's had puppies? She is so, like, wants me to just, like, sit here and pet her. Let's see if I can crochet while she pets. Well, I, nope, that's not going to work because she's in my area. All right, you go play with Ozzy. Go play with Ozzy. I know, I know, you don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> What's my email? The proper pineapple at Gmail. No capitals, no underscores, no nothing. Just the proper pineapple, no spaces. Just the proper pineapple at Gmail. That would be me. That's Lydia, too. Wait, isn't she like 11? Oh, yes, Lydia. Hi, Lydia. How are you? You enjoying? You're in, is it Wisconsin? Yeah, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yes. Yeah. See, I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Samantha. How are you? It is so hard for me to read my teeny tiny <laughs> phone. I have to, like, look at my computer. So, I have, I, like, I'm watching me, and then there's me over there, and... Ridiculous, guys, but anyways. Oh, yes, please give my videos a thumbs up, guys. I would appreciate that. It helps. It does. Every bit helps me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, I've got lots of great stuff happening on the channel. Like, so I've got the doll pattern coming out, and I'm designing some buttons and pins. Uh, we got the the t-shirts. The t-shirts. Somebody going. just said, suggested that actually. I do. I because okay, I was doing t-shirts before I started <laughs> this. So I have. I'm obviously gonna do like the proper pineapple one, but I have a bunch of funny ones that say like funny things too that I love, crochet related because that's my life. <laughs> but um, I should have those up soon, and oh, I'm writing another pattern for. My, um, oh, honey, can you hand me my skirt behind there? Okay, so gosh, before I even started my channel, guys, I was at Goodwill, which I'm a huge thrift thrifter. Love to thrift. I was at Goodwill, and I found this skirt that was amazing, and it's by, it's, um, it's J. Crew. Uh, it's so amazing. I'm just going to show you a bit of it, but look at this skirt, guys. It's a J. Crew skirt that I got at Goodwill. It's like navy with pineapples. <sighs> So in love. I'm going to be wearing this to the Fiber Fest with a navy shirt. And I wanted to wear something I made, but all of my shawls didn't really go with that. So I remembered I had this gorgeous, honey, I'm sorry. Can you hand me that bag over there? The, the lunchbox one. Mm -hmm. I had this gorgeous ball of yarn. Well, skein, I balled it because my yarn ball winder, that teeny one, does not work well. <coughs> but I, um, this gorgeous ball. Let me see if I can show you guys. Do, 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 do. I balled it up. Let's see if it's good. It's greens and pinks with little browns. It's really, 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 let me see if I can block my face. Maybe it'll focus better. Really, really beautiful. So I am currently designing a shawl and making it for the Fiberfest. So I will have that pattern coming out. I've got a couple other patterns I'm working on. Oh, and I just got picked today to be a tester for a pattern for Hannah over on the Cozy Cottage Crochet. She designed a really cool shawl, and I'm going to test that pattern out for her. Because, like, I had nothing else to do. I designed up, signed up to be a pattern tester. <laughs> What's that one say? Mm -hmm. uh, she did the whole second section of Wonder Woman shawl and realized she was <gasps> Oh, no, you were supposed to change colors. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would look like the Wonder Woman show if you don't change. Because she, she wasn't supposed to when she, oh. Yeah, when she did. Oh, you. I was gonna say I think if you did it all solid, you wouldn't even know it was a Wonder Woman show. <laughs> I still love mine, even though it's teenier than what it was supposed to be. I think it's pretty cool. Somebody said they would buy the pattern for the ombre basket that you made for Elise. I am. Mm, <laughs> I have got it made, guys. I've got it crocheted. I literally just have to sit down and write it up and do a video. I just can't seem to get my husband to cooperate with me. We just can't get on the same page because it involves a little bit of sewing because you sew in the lining and stuff. It's just... Okay, guys, you know what? Everybody tell Mr. Pineapple he has to help me make that video and get it out soon. Okay, everybody? Yeah. Mr. Pineapple, get cracking. Hashtag get cracking, Mr. Yeah. Pineapple. Since I don't have anything else to do with right, cause he has, work on that. He has nothing going on in his life right now. <laughs> That's a lie. He's a very, very busy man. I'm totally crocheting, guys. Because I seriously... 
seriously got yelled at one day because I didn't crochet <coughs> on my craft knife. I'm crafting. <coughs> See, I'm crafting along. And actually, if I don't work on this sweater now, I guess I never will. And my poor son's going to keep asking me, Mom, am I ever getting a sweater? <coughs> and I keep telling him, don't you want a belly top? And he says no. <laughs> so, got to get working on the sweater. But, you know, anyways. I am seeing so many cute things you guys are posting in the, um, my pointy ears, in the um, Christmas in July, Cal. I absolutely love everything. I'm a little disappointed because there's somebody on Instagram, I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to like throw shade because I don't want to, but it's a little disappointed mm -hmm. because somebody's just putting yarn for sale and they're using my hashtag for Christmas in July and <laughs> that's a little annoying, but it's okay. I'm not, I try to keep it positive, guys. I try to. I find so many great things at the thrift store. Oh, can you give me one of those bags over there, honey? I see. He's like my mule. Go get sure. it. My gopher. Go oh, for nice. that. One of the bags my mom got me. Oh. So my mom is a huge thrifter, too. She's been since the, like, 80s. Mm -hmm. She got me two bags this size of <laughs> just random yarn <laughs> from the Goodwill. Right, guys? I got two giant bags I haven't even opened yet. <laughs> She's, she does it to me all the time. Right when I get all my yarn cleaned up, all organized, she shows up with garbage bags full of yarn from the secondhand store. And it's like, here. And then I'm like, oh. Al says she's got to get going. Bye, Al. Love you. See you later. I know she has, like, family visiting. Something like that. Can I ask what <laughs> the sweater you're following? This sweater I am making is the uh, My Favorite Crocheted Pullover Sweater. If you go to my Ravelry page, you'll see the one I made myself. And I'm currently making, I altered it to make it for my son. And I'll probably make it a couple more for the family because it's a real simple pattern. And I really like how, let me take this out. I'll show you, I've showed you guys about a billion times, but I'm going to do it again. I love how the herringbone double crochet that the pattern calls for gives you, I don't know if you can tell because this, this is like camouflage, but it gives you a straight seam down the back, which is nice. Instead of that wonky seam that kind of whoop around everything. Mm -hmm. The cal I'm talking about, the Christmas in July, <coughs> it's actually a make along. You can crochet, knit, whatever. And um, it's going on over in the Ravelry group <coughs> and on my Instagram. All you have to do is use the <coughs> hashtag. <coughs> TPP Christmas in July mail, M A L. And then I, I will be picking a winner from Instagram and mm. one from Revelry. So I've been watching a lot of podcasts lately because I've been working on the doll pattern and other projects and stuff and finishing that Wonder Woman shawl. And I just like to listen to podcasts in the background. I've been listening to. Um, the Melody Crochet, and I caught up on Crochet Luna, and the Cozy Cottage, I always catch hers, and I like a bunch, of, I watch the Yarn Hoarder, she's a knitter, and I love her. I also love Christy Glass Knits. Those are just some of my favorite ones, guys. And actually, one of my wonderful subscribers just started her own channel. I cannot remember the name of it, though. It is... Oh, and I can't look it up on my phone. Let me see if I can look it up on my computer whilst I'm talking to you guys. But I know she called her first, um, her first one the ADHD knitting something. <laughs> Give me just a second. But her channel is not called that. It is called... Hmm, it would be so helpful if I actually <laughs> paid attention to stuff. Is this it? Yes. It's just Jenny S. So I might have to like find a link for you guys, but her first podcast is called the ADHD Knitter Episode 1. So if you guys are into knitting, maybe you can check that out. But knitting is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. <coughs> I actually do not know why so many people like are <clears throat> if they're knitters they they're like oh no crochet or if they're crocheters they're like ew knitting because i've actually found one you get two totally different fabrics and like oh my goodness do i have them you haven't 
Over there, can you hand me the Wonder Woman and my rainbow knitted shawl? It should be in that pattern too. Or it's in that pile somewhere. Just dig for a second. It's there, I promise. Because I took it off my desk and chucked it over on the couch when I was trying to get ready for this. So this, this shawl here, and excuse the fact that it is ridiculously bright, it is knitted. As you can see, it's a very different fabric. And then my Wonder Woman shawl is crochet. You get a completely different fabric doing knitting versus crochet. So to me, I kind of like being able to do both because sometimes you, you just look at a pattern and you're like, that looks great knitted. And other times you're like, mm, no crochet. And another thing that I have found out is when I'm crocheting for a long period of time, especially when I'm doing Ami, Ami, Gur, Ami Grimi, Ami Grimi. Ami Grimi. <laughs> my hands, although they cramp up, everything hurts. But knitting uses, you think it uses the same muscles, but it doesn't. It uses a different set of muscles. So sometimes when I am just overworked on my crochet and I'm, I'm just tired, my hands hurt, my arms hurt, I will sit down and I'll pick up one of my knitting ones because I always try to keep like a pattern or two of knitting going whilst I'm crocheting. <coughs> and it uses like a different set of muscles, different memory sort of thing. And it works out really, really nice. And I like it because it kind of gives you a break, but you are still crafting. You know what I mean, guys? Like instead of like only crocheting, sometimes you get a little burned out, throw in a little bit of knitting and then all of a sudden you don't feel so overwhelmed. So okay. I like it. Oh, Kathy, questions? Kathy B says, can an order be placed for your dolls? And then she says, can you put up a link? Uh, yes, you can email me for an order. Um, I don't know if she's meaning like to order those dolls. Are you wanting to order like, I have this style here for sale. And I also have the fuchsia, the doll with the hot pink hair. They're for sale over on Etsy. Uh, my Etsy store should be linked down below. This is the hot pink haired one. This is fuchsia. They are currently on sale right now because I'm trying to decide if I want to get rid of my Etsy store. Let me see. <coughs> if you're talking about a custom doll, you can email me and we can work out the details on that. Um, unless you prefer to go through Etsy and in which that case I can set up an Etsy link to a custom made doll. So either way, email me. Um, Etsy's not on there. Okay guys, well when I'm done. It's the Proper Pineapple Co. CO on Etsy. I will link it under this video as soon as this is done because I can't really do it while I'm on there. Hmm. My Continental because you crochet? Yes, I, I get, yes, that's Continental when I, um, I don't throw. I don't use my other hand because this is all backwards, guys. But I use the same side I hold my yarn with, my left hand, and I just, so yeah, I think that's called Continental. I love it. I don't actually see how I don't get the I, <laughs> my brain doesn't register with the holding it with my right hand and throwing it over. I don't get that at all. But I guess if you learn to knit before you crocheted, you might understand that. But I do not. <laughs> Lisa Pulley says hi. She is from Hi Lisa, Montrose, Michigan, and this is her first time on a live chat. I do hi. not know where Montrose is. But... Where in Michigan are you from? <clears throat> like if I hold up my hand, wrong. <laughs> This way, because it's everything's backwards on the camera. Because when I do live, it flips everything around. We're like here. Where are you? <laughs> Can you come to the Fiber Festival? Come say hi to me. It'd be fun. You'll know me because I'll look like this, and <laughs> I'll have the large redheaded man with me. <laughs> and so he says, "Are you going to announce the Instagram winner?" Yeah, yes, thing? tomorrow the winner will be picked. So that because that's when I said it would be picked. I can't pick it today or. That would be a lie because I told them I'll pick it on Wednesday. Or did I say I'd pick it today? I said I'd pick it today and announce it on Wednesday. So I'm waiting till tonight at midnight. Okay, she, she messed up. She said, will you announce it by video? Oh, no, I was just going to announce it on Instagram. Does everybody want me to announce it via video? I don't know. I, don't think it's... I was going to just tag everybody or tag the person on Instagram. And then the um, other giveaways, of course, will be announced. <coughs> video i keep looking over at my dogs because i noticed somebody walking down the street <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be lit in here the dogs are gonna go crazy oh super josh can't go to the fiber festival i wish you could 
Uh, Lisa says she is 20 minutes from Flint. I used to go up to Flint all the time. Like, forever and a day ago. Like, But I did. I like Flint. Well, I did before that whole water thing happened. But mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're about an hour south of Lansing. Yeah, uh, hour Straight south of south. Lansing. So, a couple hours from you, maybe? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I'm glad you joined Instagram so you can be a part of it. I'm so excited. Everything is going great. The Instagram's getting bigger. My YouTube channels. Oh, guys, we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. I'm at like 9,000, almost 300. Isn't that ridiculous? That's just insane. Hello to Christine in Alberta, Canada. I've got to get up to Canada. I live so close to Canada. Never been. Need to go. <laughs> but anyways... I am like, so if anybody knows any makers, anybody who does like yarn or project bags or hooks or any sort of thing, and they want to donate to the 10,000 subscriber <coughs> giveaway, please have them get a hold of me uh, through my email, thepropertpineapple at gmail.com, because I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I want the 10,000 subscriber giveaway to be huge, guys. Cassandra Brown says, where is your meetup in August? What part of Michigan? Allegan County. Um... Is that the fairgrounds? It's at, it's at the Allegan County Fairgrounds. It's the Michigan Fiber Festival. You can look that up. And it will be on the 18th from 3 to 5 uh, at the festival in the, they have like, they call it the um, carousel area. It's where the band would have been, was playing and then they're done. So then they've got it set up for us YouTubers. So I will be there. I really hope I get to meet a bunch of you guys. Yes. Pamela just put up a 9,289. I cannot believe it. We don't know what we're doing for a giveaway, do we? I have no idea. I was just telling them I have no idea what I'm doing for the 10,000. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> and the family says hi, too. Mr. Pineapple, say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. The kids, like Stitch I said. House Creations says she is going to the meetup in August. Oh, wonderful, Stitch House Creations. I can't wait to meet you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think there's going to be the wed your 50th wedding or somebody in the family's 50th wedding anniversary. Well, congratulations to them because 50 years is wonderful. <clears throat> Mr. Pineapple will be lucky if I stick around for 50. <laughs> Cindy Marsh says she's driving seven hours to get there. Seven plus. Cindy Marsh, seven <laughs> hours. Wow, you are amazing. You definitely, Cindy, I'm going to save you a button. Remind me. I will have it saved in my bag, and I will just, like, if I give away all the other buttons, find me and be like, you told me you had a button for me. Hey, happy seven hours happy earns a button. Happy birthday to Gloria James. Happy birthday, Gloria James. How old are you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> People don't like to say that. I'm, I'm... What year is it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm 37. That's how old I am. I get to stop and think for a moment there. I always forget because I don't. I don't pay attention to like age anymore. Some days I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm old. And other days I wake up and I'm like, nah, I'm good today. <laughs> today I'm good. Chris Bragg says, give away 10,000 yards of yarn. 10,000 yards of yarn. That's okay. I mean, that would be a good giveaway, but that I've given away way more than 10,000 yards of yarn in a giveaway, so, yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh, easy peasy. My birthday giveaway had to have been That's true. probably that close to like a 40, million yards. Like 40 skeins of yarn. <laughs> we gave there. away, like, two giant boxes of stuff, so I don't know if that's, a, if that's wow enough, but I like the idea. I'll work on it. <laughs> I was going to say something, and I forgot. Oh, I was going to give you guys a quick... Oh, she says she's 46. That's awesome. Somebody just turned 51 on July 11th. I'm going to go back here. Linda, happy birthday. Belated. Somebody's asking if you will be attending... Margo Fox says she's 16. Rhinebeck Yarn Rhinebeck. Festival in New York at the end of October. <coughs> Mr. Pineapple, can I go to Rhinebeck? <laughs> Yes, I'm going to Rhinebeck. We are planning it. We yes. are planning it. I am going to Rhinebeck. And I am designing a sweater to wear to Rhinebeck that will be up for sale. The pattern will be up for sale. It will be a swancho, so a sweater poncho sort of thing. It was going to be a surprise, but I'm actually designing a sweater and a hat for Rhinebeck. 
Because if you guys watch Christy Glassnit, she does um, tell me about your Rhinebeck sweater, and I want to be on there with my designed Rhinebeck sweater. So I'm super excited about Rhinebeck. I was going to let you guys know when we got a little closer so that way we could do a meetup because I never got to go visit our friends in New York because we had car troubles. Um, so we're going to plan to go for Rhinebeck and then go visit my friends. So we might do the meetup in Buffalo again, like, you know, halfway and then maybe a meetup in Rhinebeck. So I was going to, I'll, I'll let everybody know and keep you guys posted so we can do a couple meetups in New York. But um, quick just life updates. Uh, car troubles? Solved. Uh, we had a blessing, a huge blessing. Um, the Lord provided for us a new to us vehicle. It is gigantic. It, it, I knew it's used. It, it, like, new to us. <laughs> so it is an expedition and it's wonderful. We absolutely love it. And it starts and it runs and it's perfect for our family. And we are so, so blessed and appreciative of it. It's wonderful. Huge blessing. We are just thankful. And then um, quick health update. My diabetes under control, but I am am or i do have chronic idiopathic urticaria which is just chronic hives that they don't know why and um which are pretty much under control except for i discovered the other day i was ha in some pain and i took some ibuprofen and i took some and then a couple hours later well a lot of hours later i took some more and i went to bed and i woke up the next day <laughs> <laughs> with hives all over my face, all over my body, itching, burning. It was a nightmare. So I did a little Googling, because you know, Google is a wonderful doctor. And <laughs> Dr. Google said that ibuprofen can irritate chronic hives. So that's something I now need to deal with is, um, as you can tell, I am hive free today <laughs> because so I stayed away from Are you allergic to Mr. Pineapple? I am. I keep telling him I'm allergic to him and he just won't leave me alone. <laughs> No, no, I have chronic idiopathic urticaria, which is just chronic hives that they have no idea why. Um, on a bonus, like I said, as long as I stay away from ibuprofen, mm -hmm. I seem to be pretty good. I have yet to try Tylenol <coughs> and see if that irritates them. I was kind of waiting until after this because I would have tried it last night. But what if I woke up today and like I had big old giant hives on my face? I looked so funny the other day, guys. I should have took a video and put it up for you. I was, But I was like... No. <laughs> so, so there's that in my life, but, you know. L L Lydia, do you live close to the, mi the the upper peninsula of Michigan? She lives in Wisconsin, and she's always wanting us to come there. And Lydia, do you live near the upper peninsula in Michigan? Mr. Pineapple would like to know. He has questions. <laughs> I never answer him, but maybe you guys can. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to stitch here. Stitch, 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 and then I stop and chat, mm. and then I stitch a little bit more. Any questions, darling? Because he says oh, I talk too much and don't answer the questions enough. But I'm a chatter, guys. I'm a talker. That's why our relationship works. He's a listener, and I'm a talker. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> See? Yeah. I'd be quiet, and he has nothing to say to me. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I have to deal with all of this. Anyways, I'm not seeing any comments. Someone said hard to count and talk. Luckily, this pattern, I do not have to count. I'm just in the round. I just like go around and around and around. <laughs> I love this sweater I'm working on, too. It's like, it looks like it's camo, which is just great because the kids love camo. And the hubs loves camo. Yeah. This leopard is the only kind of camo I wear. No, <laughs> 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 Anyways, anybody else have any questions? Somebody said they can't hear. You can't hear me? Did the sound go out? I don't think so. Other people, nobody else. Not nope, everybody else says they can hear me, so, or well, nobody else has complained, so. I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing if the sound went out on me talking. Then I just, like, wave my hands about. I'm a very visual talker. I gotta do this a lot, and I'm not even Italian. Hello, Squishy, what do you want? You want to play on your DS? Uh, I don't know. What do you think, honey? Yeah, I think so. Yes, you can play on your DS, but you have to play with the sound down because mommy's on a video. Uh, 
Uh, Alita um, Sneed's asking to see her uh, Wonder Woman Shaw again. She didn't. Alita Sneed. All right, here we go. Wonder Woman <coughs> Shaw. Boom. Now, I used a hook that was way smaller than what they called for, which made my shawl way tinier than what they called for. <laughs> but that's okay, because I like it as a little um, shawlette instead of a giant shawl. So, But it is very pretty. Very Wonder Woman-y. I love it. Um, you can play on the front porch with it. That's it. I don't want it in the backyard. Somebody said they like the Oscar the Grouch. <gasps> my Oscar. I love him. He was my first pattern up for sale. Isn't he just so sweet? He just sits there in his giant trash can. I love the smaller size of the Wonder Woman shawl too. I, sometimes I want a big giant shawl. Like when I made my cakes to detangle. I love how big it is. But my Wonder Woman, I like how tiny it is. <laughs> so, you know. What's somebody say about a smaller? Oh, if you would have done the smaller version of the shawl, it would have been way smaller. Yeah, it would have been way too tiny. I knew I, I knew it was going to be smaller, so I went ahead and did a bigger, the bigger version. Um, somebody wants to know about the story between my YouTube name. It is not that impressive, actually. Actually, it's kind of funny. So, um, we were trying to pick a name, and I didn't want just, like, Holly crochets, because I don't just crochet. I, I knit. Um, I am doing some drop spinning guys. I finally got around to it and I'm going to film some for you guys. I drop spin now. I would love to get into, you know, I sew, I do all kinds of stuff. So I wanted it to be kind of an open name. And if you know me, I like like funny, catchy, kind of unique things. So we were, we spent like two days. Every time I say a name, my husband would be like, no. And every time he'd say a name, I'd be like, no, that's not going to work. And then one day I literally woke up. And I had thought of the proper pineapple. Because I like pineapples. I think they're funny. I had bought this picture that uh, about a month before that it was a pineapple. And it said, uh, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. And I think that's what I had looked at that. It gave me the idea of the proper pineapple. And then I didn't say anything because I was like, my husband's totally going to say no to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's going to think it's horrible. So I remember I was cooking spaghetti. And I and my husband said a name, and I was like, no. And I was like, well, I thought of one, but you're going to hate it. And he was like, okay, tell me it. And so I told him the proper pineapple. And he just kind of smiled, and he's like, I actually like that. So that's what we went with. Mm -hmm. Okay, Aaron Morrison saying, how do I tag you to my Instagram picture of the quilt I crocheted? Uh, just use the tag, hashtag, TPP. Christmas in July, mail, M-A-L. No spaces, just put that on there and that will tag me, okay? Uh, somebody asked if I knit everything in the background. Uh, no, I crocheted everything. Are you talking about... The dolls? And the things? dolls? Yeah. Yes, I crochet those. And the rows I crocheted. And down here, you guys can't see it though. Down here I have all my scarves I crochet. Um, really, just this one shawl that I've knit. <laughs> I'm working on another one right now, but... That's really the only one I've knit so far. Somebody says, besides your dolls, what's your favorite thing to work on? Shawls. I don't think the dolls are your favorite thing to work Gosh. on anymore. <laughs> I love my... Okay. Me and the dolls have a love-hate relationship. I hate working on them because it's so tedious. <laughs> and I have made a ridiculous amount of them. So when I'm working on them, I'm kind of like begrudgingly doing it. But as soon as I've got like the pieces done and I start assembling the dolls... I love them, and they're my favorite thing. Um, besides dolls, my favorite thing to make is shawls. I love making shawls, but I am getting into making sweaters. So, <laughs> that's what I like to make. Mm -hmm. Have I started any Christmas stuff? <clears throat> no, I was supposed to, but then we had the car trouble. <clears throat> no, I need to. I've, I've done nothing. I don't even know what I'm going to make yet. It's Somebody said I should try knitting socks. I want to. I bought the stuff to knit socks. I bought like knitting needles. I bought like sock yarn. I was like, I'm in this. I'm going to do it. I can't do it. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I, I ended up making a shot on my sock yarn. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> I need to make some socks though. I need to get around. I actually found, oh, you know, um, oh, let me see. Let me set my, 
sweater down. Let me scoot back because under my desk is where I keep it. Let me see if I can find it. I have like a little shelf. There it is. I bought this Crochet Now magazine. And again, the lettering, I rolled over my skirt on my rolly chair. Ow. <laughs> I'm wearing like a big long gypsy style skirt and it just like rolled right over it. Anyways, I bought this Crochet Now magazine because I wanted this sweater pattern out of it. Ah, totally got that sweater pattern. But also found in there as a bonus because I, you know, when I buy a thing for a pattern, I just expect to get that pattern. So this other pattern that was in it was for these, they call them Samba socks. And they're crocheted socks. If I can get really close there so you can see, I don't know. Let me get my face out of there. Maybe it'll focus. Nah, maybe not. They look really cool. And I don't normally like crocheted socks. I'm going to be honest. I just don't like the way they look. But I am going to give these crocheted Samba socks a try. One of these days. <laughs> I'm also going to make this sweater one of these days. And maybe this shawl down here. And my son would really like me to make this toucan and turn it into a toucanon from Pokemon. Because, you know, Pokemon. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I'm going to make my kids toys again this year or if I'm going to make them like clothing items or blankets. Something more practical than toys because my daughter has three dolls now and my son, I've made him so many Pokemon and my little guy I've made him Cookie and I've made him Mickey and his new favorite show is uh Paw Patrol and I'm not making Paw Patrol it's just too much we've done too much it is in Rhinebeck New York is what it's actually the New York Sheep and Wool Festival in Rhinebeck but everybody just calls it Rhinebeck so I don't know I don't, I don't know where that like locates compared to like New York New York but I'm excited mm -hmm. about it because it looks like it'll be a ton of fun. And a lot of the people I watch are going to be there. Uh, Samantha says her just wants Peppa Pig. <laughs> yes. <sighs> <clears throat> Those darn kitty cartoons be getting us busy all the time, you guys. Uh, Melody Kelly, you just go into Ravelry. You have to be a part of the group. And then you go under that thread and you po reply to the thread. And that's how you post to the Christmas in July thread over on Ravelry. So, mm -hmm. yes, it was Crochet Now magazine. Yeah. That's what it is. It's actually a UK magazine, so you have to be careful because mm -hmm. all the terminology in there is UK. So when they say double crochet, <laughs> they actually mean single crochet. So be careful when you're buying UK patterns or UK, I'm like pointing at you guys with my crochet hook. It's so weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you don't know how to convert it, back over to English because otherwise you will make something ridiculously large <laughs> instead of what you're supposed to. <laughs> oh, what did that say? Ooh, somebody got seven skeins of yarn for a dollar each. Stitching house, that is awesome. Cheap mm -hmm. yarn is good yarn. No, I was kidding. No. Actually, I just got a couple of skeins at Walmart the other day. The Lion Brand Mandala Baby yarn was ringing up for $2 a skein. My Walmart, you literally only had three skeins. Guess who bought all three? <laughs> Guess who's going to another Walmart? Guess who's not excited about it? He is not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he's really good about buying me yarn. I just say, but honey, it's for the channel. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and now that we have the car, and we're going to start traveling around to some yarn stores. Yeah, we're going to start traveling and we're going to start doing more meetups and we're going to do all kinds of stuff because I had all this stuff planned and then the car went kaput and we were kind of grounded for a while. But now we have a new car, new to us. It is used, but it's new to us. And we are going to be able to do a little more traveling. So I'm going to try to do some meetups and we're going to go to some yarn stores and we're going to have... So much fun on the channel, guys. Mm -hmm. So excited. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody was asking me about going to Africa. Are any of you going to Africa? Has anybody signed up for the trip with the Synchro Yarnery? Because, like, am I the only one going? <laughs> Not saying I wouldn't go, but I would like to know. Oh, thank you, Cindy. I try to be upbeat. I try to be positive because who wants to get on YouTube and see somebody who's like, 
Welcome to my <laughs> channel. No, I'm just kidding. All Eeyore-ish. <laughs> yeah. I always tell my husband, I'm Tigger. And he's Eeyore. <laughs> but we make a cute couple. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm turning him into a Tigger. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> he's so funny. Just over there looking at the phone, concentrating hard. Mm -hmm. Somebody said no, they haven't heard of that. Haven't heard of what? The, uh, I think they're talking about the trip to Africa. You should go check out the secret yarnery in her trip to Africa. I'm excited. I really want to go, but I need to raise some money. So, got to get working on some patterns and stuff so that I can raise some money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad I make you laugh, Charlotte. Somebody should laugh at me besides me. <laughs> I find myself hilarious. Mm -hmm. He does not. He like, I'll make a joke and then he's just sitting there all quiet. And I'm like, that was funny. Where were you? <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, no, I'll laugh. I made one the other day. I can't even remember now, but he like, crickets. Crickets. Anyways. Uh -huh. Did I skin a, no Rick, I did not skin a leopard. <laughs> this is silk actually. <laughs> I, I think it's like, what's her name? Be Jacqueline Smith or something. I found it at a Goodwill and I was like, yay. But anyways, that was a weird question. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's got several weird questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I took care of that problem. Anyways. <laughs> uh, when are, am I going to Africa? The trip for Africa is in February. And I'm only going if I can raise enough money to go to Africa. So um, I got a little bit of money. From we had I had made some dolls and sold them. I am working on the pattern. That money is going to go toward it. I'm going to have some other stuff up for sale. So I'm pretty excited. And I'm hoping to get enough money to go. But if not, maybe the next time. It'll be okay either way. What did I say? Uh, Nancy E said, why are you going to Africa? Um... Krista from the Secret Yarnery is having a crochet vacation. She lives in Kenya, Africa, and or actually Nairobi, and she wants to do a, she's just put together a crochet vacation there. So anybody can go, not just me. You Same. can go to her website and check it out if you want to go. Say bye to Linda. She... Bye, Linda. Bye, still got my hook. Just <laughs> hold it all day. I'm like a fiddly person. I always have to have something in my hand. Mm -hmm. See? Do, 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 do. I guess spin it like a baton. Oops, I threw it. <laughs> I was never a baton holder in school. <clears throat> anyway, so that is why. Yes. I'm hoping to go, but we'll see. If I don't get to go, it's okay. We'll go to another crochet vacay. Something. I want to make one. Lydia says do a meetup in Wisconsin. Where in Wisconsin <laughs> are you, Lydia? Are you near the UP? Because we go to the UP. We love the UP. Mm-hmm. We've actually technically been to Wisconsin. We were in the last city in the UP before you get to Wisconsin, and we were trying to turn around, and we ended up having to go into Wisconsin to turn around, which was crazy, because it was like, <laughs> to go to a whole other state just to turn around? Boise, Idaho. Yes. Um, Star Spirit, I would love to do a meetup in Boise, Idaho. Let's talk to Mr. Pineapple about that. What do you think, Mr. Pineapple? I, Boise, uh, Idaho? Yeah, I would. Yeah, do you hear him? Uh, hear him? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> We'd love to travel everywhere. We have plans for lots of traveling guys, okay? And wherever I travel, we'll be meet up with you guys because I miss all my crochet, my pineapple people. That's you, pineapple people. <laughs> it would be so much fun to go yes. to Africa. I'm Minnes really hoping. Minnesota, too. We actually have been wanting to go out to Yellowstone, and, and we thought about maybe... Coming back through Minnesota, Wisconsin. All yeah. That. Yeah, so maybe we'll... I think next year we are planning a trip out through Yellowstone. So we'll probably do like a whole little bloop, 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 bloop. Lydia says West Bend. Oh, okay. We'll have to Google that, Lydia. Work on it because we love Lydia. Lydia's 11, right, Lydia? Unless you had a birthday and turned 12 on me. In which case, happy <coughs> birthday. <laughs> and somebody asked if we ever make it to Oklahoma. We did go to Oklahoma last year. I did go to Oklahoma last year. And I loved Oklahoma. I only like nicked the corner of it right by Arkansas. 
but it was beautiful, and I want to go again. Yeah, we ate dinner in a Bye, train. Bye, Dawn. <laughs> yeah, I ate dinner in a train, which was pretty cool. Sorry, my nose is all itchy now. I've been to Texas, and I love Texas. We almost moved to Texas. Flathead um, Lake, Montana. I have mm -hmm. never been to California. I need to go to California. I need a tan, right, guys? Yeah, right. I don't tan. I just burn. It's like I have two colors, this and red. Like her hair, that's what color I turn when I get in the sun. Yeah, bye to Dawn. How about Brooklyn, New York? She said, bye, Dawn. I already said bye to Dawn. See, you're confusing. No, I think it's a different Dawn. Yeah, a different Dawn? Bye, different Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brooklyn, New York, I'd like to go there, too. <clears throat> To Vegas, huh? Oh, Alita Vegas. said she got Las trapped Vegas. in Yellowstone around Christmas. They closed the road, and we were. Oh my gosh, you got trapped! In... <laughs> she got trapped in Yellowstone. <gasps> what a nightmare! I should go to Las Vegas too. Says somebody. Dizzy Key says she's in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. So, so there's a couple you know, Wisconsiners, cheeseheads. Mm -hmm. You guys probably don't like to be called cheeseheads, do you? I don't know. <laughs> it's not like a derogatory term for Wisconsin people. I love cheese. I'm a huge cheese person. I love extra sharp cheddar. Cheddar. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, definitely come to Pine or bleh, California for my pineapple people in California. My SoCal pineapple people. Mm -hmm. Southern California. Northern California. Yes. Grandkid says she's a Michigander. Uh -huh. whoop, whoop. Michigan's the best, says... Autumn Smith. <laughs> I love Michigan. Michigan's a very unique state. You have a lot going on here. I do love Michigan, but I love every state I've been to, with the exception of one. I won't say what, though, because I have friends there, and I don't want to be mean. But <laughs> No, I love every state. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I hear kids coming in. Do you think they're going to be good and quiet? What do you want, child? Nothing. Oldest Nothing. child? You're filthy. It's bath night at the pineapple house, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to line them all up and hose them off like a car wash. It'll be great. <laughs> That's not how we really get baths. They know that. <laughs> he thinks you guys don't get me. They get me. These are my people. They understand my sarcasm. Oh, and everybody outside loves our cat Hazel. Too. Who doesn't love our cat Hazel? Hazel is amazing. I would force her to be on camera right now she but she'd hate me forever and probably bite me in my sleep if I did that <laughs> she does she gnaws on me while I sleep she's a bad cat but I love her <laughs> any questions darling um no a lot of people saying everybody's saying where they're from and all a lot of places that we'd like to go Ontario we need to do, we do need to go to Canada we, we do need to go to Canada. Canada we've never been out of the country bye John so, so. welcome to the channel Bye. Yeah, you would think crazy. we'd go to Canada, considering we live this yeah, close think to the border. Been, but, but now they've changed it. I need like a passport to get to Canada. Yeah, we didn't used to need one. Which yeah. I now need a passport to go to Kenya, so I guess I'll get a passport and come to Canada. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Is there good yarn stores in Canada, guys? Because hmm? that's what's most important. Charlene's in New Zealand. I would love to go to New Zealand. Is New Zealand dangerous like Australia is? Because I don't want to die. No, I'm just I'm kidding. I, <laughs> I could die in Michigan. There's things that would kill me here. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. Stitch and stash. <clears throat> uh, is my cat a tortoise? I guess you would call her tortoise shell. Tortoise shell? I think she is. I well, would think so. Bruce, go get Hazel. Extremely long hair and thick hair. Go get her. Come on, pick her up. Bring her yeah, in here. here. Everybody wants right to now. see Hazel. She's going to be so mad, you guys. <laughs> She's going to look at me like, Rawr. and my dog's going to be jealous because I'm holding the cat. Oh, good night, Robin. Night, night. Bye, pineapple peoples. Oh, bye, Lydia. I know you're like 11. Go do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for my son to catch my cat. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's going to... Our gonna cat be... likes to live outside. She yeah. does. She's this big, beautiful indoor kitty, but she really loves to live outside. It's yeah. ridiculous. And she stays right by the front door. She just doesn't just run sleep. off. She just hangs out by the porch. <laughs> 
yes, I'm definitely going to get going on my passport very soon because I want to make sure I get that in time and all of that stuff. There's just so much stuff that goes into a trip like that that I have to make sure I'm all ready for it. Yeah, um, Christy's saying this, and we haven't checked into this, but she says you don't need a passport to go to Canada. You only need an enhanced driver's license. We haven't what checked into that. It's an enhanced driver's license. So would would we, like me and my wife, only one of us would need one? Or do we both need one? Or do we do both need one? And what about the kids? Yeah. Or do we just leave the kids with Grandma? Is that what we do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we do. I think we leave the kids with Grandma. We both need one. And what about the children, though? The underage minors. Do they have to have ID? You can also get a passport card. It's much cheaper. And it's only for North mm. Americans. You can't. It's also called a real ID. Okay. And I think I, I think they said that you have to have one of those by, like... What, remember when we were at the license branch oh the other day? They said we have to get one? There is a very inappropriate person... Okay, okay. Don't worry, guys. I hid the very inappropriate person. I didn't even see it. Yet. It didn't even show up. It hid it. But for some reason, didn't kick him off the channel. But that's okay, because I did. Because it was very inappropriate. Leave the kids with Grandma. That's what I say. <laughs> they don't want to go to Canada. They're boring. Uh, yeah, I saw that everybody's going to need a real yeah, ID by 2020. By 2020. Huh. Yeah, but like, what, what, like, again, what do you do with minors? Like, kids that don't have IDs. Like, my five-year-old he'll be five if i go because he's gonna be five in like a couple of weeks like need their birth certificates you think okay see and now that's so funny because they always tell you not to travel with that stuff but i have to travel with it to get across the line apparently my cat is outsmarting the children and that is why they're not here which look at so i was at walmart and i found this it just happened to be laying on my desk uh it is a catnip carrot Everybody's saying they need birth certificates. And my cat won't even look at it. She's like, <laughs> and walked off. She didn't care. But my dogs want to eat it, which is why it's on my desk. It's so funny. Because I'm like, I spent, well, it was on clearance. So I spent like $2.50. But she won't eat, like I shake it. And she won't even come. She doesn't care at all about the catnip carrot. Not even interested in it. <laughs> She's such a weird cat. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to get the cat. It sounds like she's hiding out there somewhere. It's okay. Because we're probably going to have to go eventually. I still have to feed my children today. Darn things want to eat like three times a day. It's crazy. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> oh, really? In Nevada, they made her get a, uh, Charlene get a real ID last year. They haven't yeah, made us get that yet. in Texas, too. Really? Yeah. Michigan, we're stubborn. We don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, no, we're not going to. <laughs> Somebody asked me, what is the goal? You mean the goal, the amount for going to Africa? Is that what no. you want to know? No, they're What's saying that this channel just showed up in the... And they're recommended and they're wondering what it's about. <laughs> No, oh, what my channel's about? Yeah. Randomness. Random crochetness. I was working on a sweater. I gave up about that. I talked about shawls for a while. Gave up on that. Now we're just talking about whatever because that's what me and my pineapple people do. Right, pineapple people? <laughs> I just like being... I just like chatting with you guys, actually, because you guys are fun. And it's like I have a bunch of best friends that live all over the world because I know you guys are not just in North America you guys are all over the place so I really enjoy just chatting so this channel is just about the pineapple people and if you don't want to be a pineapple person we're sorry to see you go but it's okay <laughs> I don't think they're gonna catch a cat so we'll probably have to ditch that idea guys yeah. ditch the cat idea anywho so <sighs> What do you think, honey? We should get going. Does anybody have any ideas about the 10,000 subscriber giveaway? What should we... Yes. So we asked that already, didn't we? But... Yes, I know I need to get a bunch of shots for flying overseas. I'm okay with that. I cry like a baby when I get shots. But I will get the shots. I just heard Hazel screaming at the kids saying, let me go. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that. I heard the... 
they're bringing her. They are. Uh, Moose Gal, I would just say, just set small goals every day. Oh, my poor Hazel. Hold on, I'll get back to that question. Did they, oh, my poor girl. This is my Hazel. She's covered in. She's got weeds hanging. She's got <laughs> weeds hanging. Because she's been under the porch. Oh, my poor Very baby true. girl. Did they make you come in here and you're disgruntled? So, see, she's kind of, I don't know if she's more calico y or tortoise y. Now, oh she my goodness, you guys. I bet she did bite you. She does not seem happy. Let that cat <laughs> outside. I am covered in cat hair now, guys. Yeah. Okay, anyways, Moose Girl, I would just say set tiny goals. And um, that way, when you meet the tiny goals, you'll be. Ouch, I hit my desk with my knee. It, it's a motivational thing to me because, like, for me, when I finish something, I get excited and it makes me want to start something else. So, that's what I would say is make tiny goals so that when you meet them, you're excited and it will help you get on to the next goal okay oh thank you guys she is a beautiful cat uh, somebody said a 10,000 skein giveaway <laughs> yeah who's paying for that shipping because i am not that is redonkulous Everybody wants to donate we'll see if we can get that. i could i could probably just give away ten thousand dollars before i could give away ten thousand skeins yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. so that would be ridiculous so yeah that would be Really great. Just the shipping on it would be ten thousand dollars. The the shipping would be so ridiculous. Shipping is extremely oh my expensive. Goodness. I know that's what you don't even realize. You're like, I'm gonna give away a bunch of stuff, and then you're like, oh, shipping. I've showed Bella on this. What about this? Should we do one giveaway for the ten thousand, or should we divide it up and give away several smaller giveaways? So yes. That more people. What have do we a think, guys? Win. One giveaway, or several small giveaways for the ten thousand subscriber giveaway. Cindy Marsh says she's got to go. Bye, Cindy See you Marsh. At the I love you. Fiber Festival. See you at the Fiber Fest. Yay. She, she's the one that's driving seven hours, isn't uh, yeah, she? I think so. Yes. Awesome. Saving a button for Cindy. Yeah. Somebody says several. Uh, yeah, somebody says 10 small giveaways. Oh, 10 small giveaways might be a great idea. 10 winners, one for each thousand, basically. Yeah. I kind of like that idea. 10,000. I've got cat hair just all over my face right now. <laughs> that cat lost so much hair on my face. It was ridiculous. I could see on your, on your shirt. It's on my shirt. Somebody said maybe a gift card to Joanne's or something. But problem see, the is problem a lot is, of people don't have like, They don't Joanne's. have that in other countries and stuff too. So like giving a gift card to Joanne's would be pointless if somebody in Australia won that. Or I don't know. Do you guys have it in Australia? I don't think you do. But maybe. Okay, so somebody says both of us need real IDs and then yeah, birth, birth certificates, certificates for the children. kids. Huh. All right, we'll work on that so we can come to Canada. I don't even know if Canada has Joanne's. I don't think so. Huh? Somebody says she's. Everybody's having a debate whether she's a tortoise or a calico. <laughs> um, we just call her Hazel and love her for her fluffiness. Because she's so fluffy, I could die. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's mean. We love her. Mm -hmm. She's mean because you drug her out of where she wanted to be and forced her into the I house. I didn't want to. She's my cat. I didn't want to drug her. Drag her out of the body. Out of the body. What did they say? 24 hour giveaway celebration. Ooh. Ooh. I like the sounds of that. Yeah. Somebody said a Visa hours. card. I could do a Visa card. I like the idea of a 24 hour. Like give like I could do a giveaway like every hour so or, like or small giveaways hour. every hour for a certain amount of time. What do you guys think? I don't know. Start at that could be fun. Yeah. Mm, I like that idea. Prize every hour. Prize every hour. Yes. Yeah, so Moose Gale says the ten thousand yards. Someone says a 10 hour giveaway, one an hour. I really like that idea, I think. I think, yeah, that's... and I could come on, I could do like a live drawing. I could, I don't know how we would put everybody's <coughs> names in. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. We'll have to figure out how to get everybody registered for it. And then I can like draw people's names live. I'll come on every hour <coughs> and do that. Or I'll just, I don't know, post every hour. I don't know, we have to work out the details, but it's coming so fast. It's crazy. 
So I gotta come up with some prizes though, because I'm a, a doll in that one. I am not making ten dolls. That's not happening. <laughs> so don't. Well, Michelle I... Perry says she'll take the basket. Michelle Perry. <laughs> she has asked us about the basket. If you didn't hear Michelle, the Michelle, the video is. It's gonna almost be done. done. It's almost <laughs> done. I am going to get cracking on my basket. I've got it like. The shell of it made. I just need to assemble it, but I want to do that on camera for you guys, so that is what's taking so long. But I've given Mr. M Mr. Pineapple the, like, the glare, and we're going to get working on it now. So. <laughs> now, we're thinking of a 10-hour giveaway. Yeah, like 10 hours. So, like, it's 10,000 subscribers, so we'll do a 10-hour giveaway, so, like, one winner every hour, and, like, maybe they'll gradually get bigger giveaway or like even the 10 i don't know but something 10, fun hours. and like i said if anybody knows anybody who wants to donate oh or maybe we should do that that would be even better it said oh, a 10 day giveaway one a day yeah, so because then i could do a video every day for 10 days and that would be easier than trying to do one an hour i actually i think i like that better what do you think honey you could. Or you could do the 10 hours and you could do a video every hour and give them one hour to comment and at the end of the ten? hour I'll pick the winner. Well, well, ten hours. Yeah, but then like I would have to like, I'd be on every... We'll work out the details, but it's either... I, I'm leaning toward the 10 day giveaway. He's leaning toward the 10 hour. But I think the 10 day, because what we could do is you could post the first video and they have uh -huh. that day to comment. Then the next day I would announce the winner and show the next yeah, video. Yeah. I think we're going to do a 10-day giveaway. Yeah, that would be. A five-hour live stream with two winners an hour. Wow. <laughs> what would we talk about for five hours, guys? <laughs> oh, my goodness. We have to stop our bathroom break. Yeah, I was here. like, I have to go potty eventually, guys. I think <clears throat> I'm going to go with, oh, gosh. Okay, somebody said consider making the small live. Uh, Okay, I am. I'm live. Yeah. Sorry it if that glitched for a second, but it's live. sorry if that glitched, guys. My mother actually called me. Hmm, I'm about to call her back in a minute because she's gonna just call again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Five hour live thing is just not gonna work for me. <laughs> Somebody said, would they be mystery giveaways or would people know ahead of time? I think we'll show. I think we'll show every. We'll do a video every day showing what the I like the. Is I think a ten day. 10 winner giveaway. So actually, it might be an 11 day kind of giveaway because you post the first video on day one, post the last video on day 10, and then 11 is when I give the winner of 10. So it'll be like a 10 day giveaway. What do you guys think of that? 10 day giveaway, video every day. Now, should it be a live video every day or should it just be a video I post every day? That's what we should decide here. And then, if anybody would like to donate, um, my mailing address is below. I know that is down there. Or if you want to contact me to talk about donations for the giveaway, you could email me at thepropertineapple at gmail.com. That's how you get a hold of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to do the 10-day giveaway. I think that's the yeah. best way. It gives people time to comment. It gives people time to get in there. I like the 10-day giveaways, what we're going to do. I just have to decide if I want to do a live video every day for 10 days or, or just, I think probably just a video, right, honey? Yeah, probably just a video. Probably do a video where we show who won the giveaway from the day before and right. then show what's in the yeah. next giveaway. Yeah, that's what so we're going to do, like, one day one, we will show, like, what's day one's prize, and you will get to comment under that. Day two, I will announce the winner of day one and... um that prize for day two and then we'll just keep doing that so actually like on day 11 i'll be announcing the winner of 10 and if anybody doesn't claim their prizes we will re-pick winners for those and announce them on the 11th too because i think just a video every day for 10 days is what we will do i'm super excited about that though i got like i got an alert on my phone sorry my fingers all up close and personal there <laughs> that's so weird but and somebody says do you want money or items for donating to the giveaway uh, whatever you would like to donate. I mean, uh, I'm thinking, you know, like yarn, hooks, bags. Uh, if you want to donate money that will go toward the giveaway, that is fine. Whatever. If anybody wants to be, if you're a maker and you like dye yarn or make bags or whatever, that's great. If not, if you just want to buy a couple skeins of yarn to put in the giveaway, that is fine too. 
Um, obviously, you guys do not have to donate at all. But I do know that there are a lot of generous people on my channel that like to send me stuff. Um, do not have to, but like to. And if you want to, you may do that. It's fine. Mm -hmm. oh, somebody said something. I can't even remember now. I was going to say something. The donations can be sent to my address. It is down below. It is the Proper Pineapple P.O. Box 133, Homer, Michigan, uh, zip code 49245. Had to stop and think about that for a minute, even though I've lived here three years. <laughs> if everything keeps going the way it is, um, we should hit 10000 within the next month. So. B. B. Consilo, what is your great idea? I would like to hear a great idea. I like great ideas. Oh, thank you, Stitchin' House. I would love something for the giveaway. Uh, if you're sending me something for the giveaway, please mark it on the package that it is, or like in the package in the letter, put it as for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Or if you're giving for any other giveaways, put it on there so I know. Because people send me stuff too, just for me. So I want to make sure I don't mix any of it up, okay? Label it. Mm -hmm. Labels are important. <laughs> Oh, my little monkey stitch marker. Yeah, send me and work out the details and then let us know. I will work out the details and let you know. As soon as we are at 10,000, I will let you know. I said, are you only looking for items for crocheters? No. I think knitting, anything, you know, anything yarny related, right? Yeah. Because I, yeah. I, I, I knit and I know a lot of you guys knit. A lot of you would like to knit and maybe you just don't have knitting supplies so that would be great so I'm pretty excited about the 10-day giveaway mm -hmm. and I work out all the exact details oh Samantha has to go her daughter wants to play Minecraft bye have fun <laughs> on Minecraft <laughs> yeah see like anything for anything yarn related Oh, Star Spirit is 12, and she knits and crochets. That's so wonderful. Yeah. Friday Ketchup says her feet are so cold. I'm sorry, Friday. <laughs> you should put on some socks. <laughs> or get a blanket, turn the heat on. I don't know. Can uh, somebody want to see my favorite knitting? My favorite thing I knit was this shawl, guys. I absolutely love this. This is the Spindrift Shawl. It's got like a lacy edge and it's a big giant crescent. I adore this so much. It's the Spindrift Shawl. Um, it took one skein of fingering weight yarn. I did have leftover and this is the Colorway Prism by Haute Knit Yarns on Etsy. And this is Prism. I absolutely love it. This is my favorite knit. Absolute favorite knit. And right now my favorite crochet Da, 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 da. Big surprise, everybody. It is my Cakes to the Tango I just made, which I am still madly in love with and cannot wait till the weather's just a smidge bit warmer for me or cooler so that I can wear this guy because it's gigantic and it's beautiful and I love it so, so, so much. So those are my two favorites right now, but, you know, I'm working on some other stuff that might change that. <clears throat> Ooh, somebody says the Loops and Threads yarn is on sale. Or buy one, get one free. Guess where I'm going shopping tomorrow. Yeah, mm. that would be good for the giveaway coming yes, up here. Yes, I have a giveaway coming up. I have giveaways because I got next month's giveaway coming up too, which I need to go shopping for. And then now the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. <sighs> so many giveaways. Allison, yeah, Lisa says, do you know what is the thing? Stitches? What is the thing in the trash can? This is Oscar the Grouch. I might I made a giant <laughs> Ami Groomy Oscar the Grouch. I do not know Jada. I watched Jada. But I do not know her. How many UFOs have been abducted? Are you thinking are you talking um UFOs as in actual UFOs unfinished or unfinished objects? unfinished objects? Because I have lots of unfinished objects just sitting around my house waiting for me to pull them out and start something new somebody says do i watch the pink knitter i do not watch the very pink knitter i watch pink pumpkin crochet which i love she has that accent from overseas and i just think it's adorable when she talks it's so funny 
Not funny as in ha ha, but funny in like a very cute way. So adorbs. My dogs are about to start fighting. Not like actually fighting, but like Ozzy wants to play. Mm -hmm. And Bella's like, I'm super duper pregnant. I don't want to play with you. Because he wants to go outside. He brought his leash. As you want to go outside. Well, we have to find a kid to take him outside. Because. <laughs> have I been on a crochet cruise? I have not. I would love to go on a crochet cruise. I know, Shirlene. I need to go get dinner yeah, done, too. We haven't eaten dinner either. So. Yeah, it's oh. Somebody says there's yarn on sale in San Antonio. I don't know if I can make it to San Antonio this weekend. But pick, pick us up some. Pick me up it. some. Pick me up some. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But okay, guys, I guess we're going to go ahead and get off of here. What kind of dogs do I have? I have two Shih Tzus. And I'm going to have some Shih Tzu puppies here in the next couple of weeks. So, yay, puppies. <laughs> the... the takes two or cakes two to tango pattern i once you get going i love it but okay we gotta go um i thought about spinning dog hair we shaved my dog the other day and there was so much of it i was like i could totally make something out of this but okay guys i gotta go i gotta cook for my children there are three small people who depend on me for food so okay bye guys bye bye bye